With this logarithm, I've got two logarithms on the left-hand side, and it equals a number. And with this one, because these both have the same base, they're both log base tens, uh, we can condense these two into one logarithm. Now we'll notice here that it's x uh, log base 10 of x minus log base 10 of 8. Because of this subtraction sign, what that basically means is that we're going to do division when we combine those two using our laws of logarithms. It should look like this. Log uh, 8, div uh, excuse me, x divided by 8. Again, that division comes from this subtraction sign here. The next thing that we're going to do is rewrite this one in exponential form. And this is where it becomes important that you understand what the base is on this one. This is a log base 10, so 10 is going to be the base on our exponent. This one over here will be our exponent. So if I convert this, this will be 10 to the first power equals x divided by 8. Now, and again, that 10 came from log base 10 here. It's not written. This is kind of the shorthand, if you will, of mathematics. Okay, so now we need to simplify the left-hand side. This is 10 to the first power, which is 10, equals x divided by 8. Okay, and now we have to uh, solve it for x. Uh, we have an x divided by 8. The opposite of division is multiplication, so I'll multiply both sides by 8. The 1 over here on the right will end up canceling each other out. Then I just need 8 times 10. 8 times 10 is 80. We would round it to the nearest thousandth if needed. We do not need to because this one is a whole number.